stock advisors charge hefty fees that eat into your returns. And many so-called experts operate on incentive-based structures, meaning their recommendations may prioritize their own financial gain instead of your best interest. On top of that, lack of the technical knowledge to process information in real time or using outdated data is a major concern. In this AI agent development tutorial, we are going to build a stock advisory AI agent that will help you analyze market trends, research companies' financials, monitor market trends, and make data-driven recommendations using Agno AI agent framework in Python. This is a, going to be a beginner-friendly tutorial. I am not going to create anything crazy that can predict the market for the next 10 years. The AI agent will simply use Yahoo Finance API to fetch the relevant information to run the research and analysis and present the finding based on the data it has. I will go through every single step to build the AI agent. However, you do need to have some experience using Python to be able to follow along. And if you have never heard of Agno, Agno is an open source AI agent framework focused on building intelligent autonomous systems with ease. The framework offers robust tools for knowledge retrieval, workflow automation, and memory management, enabling AI agents to process information efficiently and act with precision. And with more than 18,000 stars on GitHub, Agno is probably one of the most popular agentic frameworks today with tons of resources available. Now, let me give you a quick demo of the advisory agent so you know what to expect from the tutorial. I am using Agno Playground as the front end UI. But here, in the input, I can ask what are the latest news of Home Depot and Tesla or other companies of your choice? Based on the request, the agent will go to its function tools and pick the functions to code to get the company's news. Because the AI agent relies on getting all the data and news from Yahoo Finance. Unfortunately, there are a few things it cannot do, such as forecasting. But I intend to add more functionalities to integrate with other APIs to run more in-depth analysis and forecasting in future videos, so stay tuned. And to get the stock recommendation, I can ask, how about company performance? Now, based on the companies and requests, the agent will call multiple functions to get the stock price, company info, stock fundamentals, and analyst recommendations, and put everything together into an executive summary report. And to build this agent, it will take less than 10 minutes. Very powerful, yet very easy to build. To get started, launch a terminal and install Agno, Yahoo Finance, SQL Alchemy, and Fast API Python libraries. Depending on the model provider you are using, for example, OpenAI or Anthropic, you will need to install the provider's Python library separately. In your code editor, create a Python file and name it instruction templates.py. Inside the script, create the instructions you want the agent to follow to run an analysis and report generation. You can think of it as the system prompt to guide the agent what to do with the information. Here are the templates I am using. In each template, I am giving a guideline to perform the analysis and what the report format should be. And here's the second template. Depending on your use case, you may need to modify the template accordingly. Now to create the advisory agent, create a new Python file. And let's name it financeagent.py. In the script, import the required Python packages and the templates. Agno comes with its own Yahoo Finance tool functions, which save us a lot of time by not needing to write our own functions. Agno Playground is optional. You can omit the import if you wish to use other front-end UI or use the agent as a command line tool. To save analysis or report as a file, 
create a function called save as report with content and file name as parameters. Then create the advisory agent using the agent class. In the agent setup, give the agent a name, assign a model, tools, and instructions. I am using Google Gemini 2 Flash experimental model because it is free right now, but generally, I would recommend you use something more capable like OpenAI GPT 4.0 or Anthropic Cloud 3.5. When using Agno Yahoo Finance tools, you can enable or disable the features. If you're using other APIs like for latest news or stock recommendation, then you may need to disable some of the features. Here I am enabling everything. The rest of the settings controls if you want to include today's date and previous messages as context, show the function name when the agent decides to call the functions, and if output format should be plain text or markdown. And to initialize a conversation, insert a while loop to keep the conversation session alive. Now save the file and run the script. It looks like I forgot to install Google Gemini Python library. Let me install the library real quick and run the script again. Let me pick two companies from Stock Analysis website and ask the agent to write a report on those companies' performance. And if we want to review the report later, we can ask the agent to save the report as an actual file. Let me exit the session and show you how to use Agno Playground as the UI to interact with the agent. Create a playground object with the agent assigned. Then add the main routine and call the serve playground app function to launch the playground server. Click the playground URL to launch the UI. This time, I will ask the agent to put an analysis for KE Holdings and Nike. And looks like Agno Playground is not fully compatible with Google Gemini model yet. Let me switch to OpenAI GPT-40 model and see if that fixes the issue. All right, let me try again. And this time, the agent is able to generate an executive summary report successfully. If we look at the report, KE Holdings is a buy, and Nike is a solid hold from the analyst recommendation. One approach to make analysis more accurate is to combine analysis and news from other platforms, do a comparison check, then draft the report. But that's for another video. And that concludes this AI advisory agent tutorial. Hopefully you find the video useful. If there are any tutorial ideas you have in mind and you would like me to cover, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the source code from the link in the description below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.